Buongiorno, I am Domingo Nolasco, the Philippine Ambassador to Italy. We are happy to participate in this year's Festival de la Diplomacia. For over 70 years, the Philippines and Italy have been growing their bilateral relations in the fields of political, economic, and people-to-people ties. At present, there are over 160,000 Filipinos and Italy. Through cultural diplomacy, like participating in the Festival de la Diplomacia, we hope to strengthen mutual ties between our people. Today, we will be showing to you how we cook Filipino noodles. In the Philippines, we call most noodles as pancit. Pancit is uh, usually served during special occasions like birthdays. It can be eaten for lunch, merienda, or dinner. If you visit towns, provinces, and barrios in the Philippines, you will be treated to diverse versions of the dish, which varies by noodles, sauce, garnishing, and cooking procedure. Today we will be cooking pancit bihon guisado, or sauteed rice noodles. But before that, since traveling is still restricted, let me show you what the Philippines is all about. Hi, I'm Andre of the Cultural Section of the Philippine Embassy, and today we'll cook pancit bihon guisado. Here are our ingredients. We'll need some garlic, just two cloves, and mince them. One onion, chopped. Let's get a whole carrot, peeled and sliced into thin strips. We'll need around 100 grams of green beans, sliced diagonally, and one-fourth of a medium cabbage, chopped thinly. For this version, we'll use chicken breast. In other recipes, shrimp or pork are used. Slice the chicken into thin strips. Now we're ready to cook. Get a big pan and heat it. Once the pan is hot, put some sunflower oil. First in is the chicken. Brown the chicken in the pan. As the chicken is nicely brown, add the garlic and the onions. Cook until the onions are transparent and the garlic is lightly browned. Now add the carrots, the green beans, and the cabbage and saute for about 5 to 7 minutes. Add about 3 to 4 tablespoons of light soy sauce and about 2 to 3 tablespoons of fish sauce or patis in Filipino. Add about 8 cups of water and let it simmer. Add some salt and pepper to taste. This is our bihon. It is made out of rice and usually you can buy it in Asian stores here in Italy. Once the water is simmering, place the dry bihon. Place them gently in the broth and slowly move them around as they absorb the liquid. When all the liquid is absorbed, you are ready to serve pancit bihon. In the Philippines, we usually sprinkle a bit of calamansi or Filipino lime to get a bit of acidity. Since calamansi isn't readily available in Italy, we can use lemon as well. And here we have it, pancit bihon guisado. For more videos on Filipino food, visit our Facebook page at PH in Italy and our YouTube channel, Philippine Embassy in Italy. Also follow us on Instagram and Twitter, both at PH in Italy.